Hello and welcome to Beamer, folks. It's time for me to hopefully create an excellent barometric pressure by revealing what's inside my barometer. As you probably gathered, um, the only thing on the um, lid is the five milliamp meter, and what I just removed was a masking card. Uh, the card made out of a um, cereal packet cardboard, painted with black acrylic paint, obtained from a UK store called Poundland. Let me put that to one side, and. Um, here we have it. The cost of this build is about 20 UK pounds. As I had a considerable amount of components available to me on the shelf, um, I had I was able to um, contribute about, I suppose, the equivalent of. Ten pounds worth of components in here, so half the build I effectively had on my shelf. But if you uh, didn't have those components, then it would cost, as I said, probably about twenty pounds. Now, to begin with, um, the lid, of course, is attached via um, a little red and black um, two wires. Uh, that's the only thing that connects the lid to the base unit. We have here a barrel jack going in here. I don't know whether it's a 2.5 or a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack and socket, <coughs> excuse me, uh, connected to the power supply. The power supply is a 15 volt power supply, not absolutely ideal. I probably would have preferred it to have been a 12 volt DC, but the power adapter, the wall wart, um, was from a reputable UK supplier. Um, I felt confident in using it. I had it in stock. I had it on my shelf. Uh, and, um, and I thought, well, this, this is a good application to use it. So, beyond the barrel jack and barrel socket, we have an inline fuse. I kind of like the traditional inline um, 20 millimeter fuse. Uh, it's quite a cheap assembly today. Uh, the fuse in there is 150 milliamps. I didn't need more um, fusing current than that, and it seems to work reliably. Um, and uh, so that's the power supply. <coughs> Excuse me. The regulator, which is that little chip right down in there, is um, a 5 volt regulator. Um, I wanted 9 volts to go into the Pro Mini which is there. Uh, I, I didn't have a 9 volt um, um, 7, 8 L, um, 0, 9 um, IC, so what I did was to raise it up via two very inexpensive green LEDs which have a band gap of about 2 volts, so 2 times 2 is 4 plus the 5 gives 9 volts, which is a nice voltage to go into the Pro Mini. If you try and put too much uh, voltage into a Pro Mini, although the Pro Mini tolerates it, um, the little regulator, onboard regulator, uh, can get hot because of course power equals current times voltage. If you increase the uh, voltage across the regulator that'll uh, translate into heat and the regulator is not heat synced so it can overheat. So um, what have we got? We've got the um, uh, Pro Mini. Uh, the Pro Mini I used, I've attempted to use Nano, um, uh, you know, Nano Arduinos, but they don't seem to give the reliable performance that the Pro Mini does. Uh, of course the Uno is very good, but the Uno would not have fitted into here uh, uh, with this board as well. It had to be small. I tried the Nano. It wasn't quite 
reliable. The readings were a bit intermittent and uh, I kind of felt that perhaps it was the uh, resonator um, that drives the, the, the um, ceramic resonator that drives the chip that was causing the problem. So I moved over to a Pro Mini in hope that this little can is a quartz oscillator. Um, I subsequently have read that um, it's not absolutely certain whether these are quartz oscillators or ceramic oscillators. But anyway, this Pro Mini and an Uno um, works very reliable with this barom as a barometer and the readings are very uh, regular. Uh, of course, the output to the Pro Mini is an analog output derived, derived from pulse width modulation and any variation in the uh, oscillation frequency or the pulse width will translate into a movement on the meter. Before I um, zoom in further, I'll just uh, point out that these, of course, are the four switches, as I've explained in the part one video. Uh, and, um, and let me now go into a better zoom. Hopefully that's seen more clearly. Um, you've got, as you can see, three green LEDs. Well, of two of those I've just explained are to do with raising the input uh, regulator IC. And should you buy a regulating IC, of course, buy a 9 volt one, um, you, uh, and then you can eliminate two of these green LEDs. There is a three green a third green LED here and that is to drop the 5 volts that comes out of the Pro Mini to a voltage which is compliant with which is ideal for the uh, BMP280 sensor which is under here. Um, so although the chip the B BMP280 is actually compliant for 5 volts I thought I would be on the safe side and drop the 5 volts down by using a third LED, 2 volt band gap green LED, to, um, to 3 volts and it works very happily on that basis. Uh, before, I open, before I open that up, let me just go to the uh, LED gauge which is here. You can see that the blue indicator is on, um, indicating that some time ago uh, this reading is higher than the previous reading so the barometric pressure is actually climbing shown by the blue LED you've got a white LED in the middle there and a green LED this is not a, a dim green LED, LED like those this is actually a high bright uh, green LED the next thing around the board is right into there which is <laughs> just shift to a lower value um, is right in there is the little bleeper. Again I use my off-the-shelf bleeper which is a 5 volt bleeper but I didn't connect the bleeper up to the 5 volt rail. The little bleeper actually takes quite a bit of current and it kicks the 5 volt rail which can interfere with the accuracy and stability of the uh, barometric system here. So what I did I used a, a resistive dropper and took the power from the 9 volt rail uh, as supplied by the little uh, 78L05 up here raised to 9 volts so thereby removing the current from the 5 volt rail. Um, it's got a drive transistor which is here again I, I didn't want to pour current through the Pro Mini I wanted the current to be taken from the supply so I used a transistor switch uh, we have the power LED which is kind of breathing, ramping up and down there, indicating that the CPU is fully functioning from the outside. And it shows when a sample is taken um, at a usually 10 minute interval, although you can make it 10 seconds via, via this switch here. Now for the BMP280 sensor reveal. I'll just lift off this uh, cover on here. It, uh, it must never be a hermetically sealed cover. Um, you, the, the little sensor must have 
air connection with the outside atmosphere. So let me take this off and you can see it's just a plastic cover from which I've um, which I converted from a blink teardrop applicator obviously cleaning it out thoroughly cutting it to the right size and it's held it's contained onto the board uh, via the um, pressure of the lid so that's another upcycled object um, we have here the BNP 280 sensor it's sitting there quite comfortably both the sensor and the Pro Mini are on sockets so that you know should they go faulty or should I want to experiment with it I can unplug them and plug them back in uh, and it's true also for the Pro Mini if there's any problems with that I can replace it with another one um, uh, finally uh, on this uh, uh, examination of the board uh, I would say it's a basic examination I'll, I'll um, present the uh, circuit diagram and details of the board uh, in probably the next part to this series on the barometer just here of course is a you know it's, it's obvious it's an adjustment pot and the adjustment pot sets uh, with reference to the reference switch here when you switch that on you can adjust for absolutely uh, 2.5 milliamps on the uh, barometric meter so it's a, a calibration potentiometer in association with the calibration switch option the board itself as you can probably see is a strip board this is not a perf board this is a strip board uh, the proprietary name is a vero board um, and uh, um, it's effectively a single-sided pc board i find them very um, economic to use and with a bit of uh, nifty software um, you know, I find this um, easier than producing even though it's economic to produce your own printed circuit boards today you have got the hassle of time and you've got the cost of transport of a small number of boards to you uh, which may or may not have an error on them whereas Vero board is very um, easy to adapt all the components on one side there are no components on the other side and uh, it's held fast by um, four screws and that's the inside guts of MAB I've just realized that I've omitted to say in the input DC line there is a reverse protection diode in here it has uh, two purposes one is um, obviously reverse protection the other is that in the forward direction it drops an additional 0.7 of a volt from the supply line and in association with a power resistor I think it's a 1 watt resistor I put in there um, you, get, you get about a 2 volt drop so when the 15 volts comes into the unit 2 volts of those approximately 2 volts, yeah about 2.5 volts is dropped um, by those two components making making uh, um, an input to the uh, 7805 regulator chip of about 13 volts on average it might be a little bit up it might be a little bit down but uh, I thought I would just add that thank you this is Beamer signing out for now